the recent review dismissing Gerson therapy as useless or worse for the treatment of cancer was published before this landmark study came out, a head-to-head -head test of a Gerson-style regime versus the standard chemotherapy agent gemcetabine for pancreatic cancer, one of the deadliest of all malignancies. Being diagnosed with inoperable pancreatic cancer is basically, on average, being given a six-month death sentence. The best modern medicine can offer is chemotherapy designed not to cure, but just to kind of slow down the death process and give people a few extra months. Since death is essentially considered inevitable, it offers an opportunity to try you know, untested therapies, uh, because you know, what's the worst that can happen? Now you'd think with all the interest in complementary and alternative medicine there'd be lots of these trials, but they're actually exceedingly rare and difficult to do. The National Cancer Institute and American Cancer Society should be commended for their efforts here. So, 55 patients, 23 chose chemo, 32 chose treatment with enzyme supplements, detox, and organic diet, composed mostly of raw foods. Uh, this may be among the first controlled clinical studies to compare allopathic, meaning you know, standard medical uh, treatment, to you know, an alternative medicine program for a survival endpoint. What did they find? Well, first of all, before they even started, they agreed on what's called a stopping rule. If one therapy started working out way better than the other, then they'd just you know, stop it because it'd be unethical to continue. That point was reached, actually, and they had to stop the study prematurely because there were so many more deaths in the Gerson therapy alternative group. Here's the survival curve. Here's the chemo group. As you can see, despite conventional medicine's best efforts, about half were dead in a year. But here's the enzyme and raw food group. As you can see, they started dying off almost immediately uh, whereas those in the chemo group tended to be able to hold out longer. Yeah, but, but what about the quality of their lives in, those la in, the, you know, in their last few months on Earth? You know, quality of life was significantly better in the chemo group as well. Conclusion. Among patients who have pancreatic cancer, those who chose gemcetabine-based chemotherapy survived more than three times as long, right? 14 months on average, versus four months, and had better quality of life than those who chose the you know, alternative proteolytic enzyme treatment.